push some of the stuff back here, so uh, glass table, so it's obvious that there's no wire. There you go. Yeah. Again, like I say, the uh, the uh, load remains constant, even through my loose connection here. Needs uh, needs resolder. Uh, what else? What else can I tell you? Um, to, um, to show, uh, you know, we can run some repeats here. Let's show, uh, show some voltage again. To get a true, get a true measurement, you can see that you need a, you need an FET probe. But the running voltage here, the running voltage is 2,900 volts. 2,900. Uh, again, no fluctuation in the power. Uh, the resistor, you got a resistor. I mean, disconnect everything. Okay, you got a resistor. With an amount of resistance. I'm running 200 K ohms, 102 K. We got 102 K ohms of resistance across across. You can see, uh, you can see we got a real clean, a real clean AC signal uh, because because the output is the output is AC. Uh, of course, let's like, say the frequency is quite high. Let's see the discharge here. Oh yeah, good one, good one. Good discharge. Good discharge. Okay. Now, hang on, just let me follow the wire around so we can see it. Pull the wire up, please, please. Very good. All right, very good. Idea no other wires on there. Yeah. Um. Uh, the vacuum on this thing. So the vacuum needle up here. The uh, the vacuum. Uh. Again, from the thermal cup gauge, we see approximately 12, well, 11, about 11 microns. Uh, actually, we want to get this down in the process, and and the absorption of beta particles by aluminum produces Brimster lung radiation. That means X-rays. So what I got here is a device, it's an X-ray tube, produces X-rays. And unfortunately, we're talking, um, we're, we're talking, we're talking. Um, we're talking here lots of R's. That's uh, that's 4.33 R's per hour. Uh, this thing's this thing's producing a lot of a lot of activity. Um, it's doing quite a quite a, You can see that it's an RF spark. Uh, that becomes obvious. Even uh, notice the uh, notice that in a single wire in a single wire connection, wire connection, the RF part will drive the load up. Can you see the lights? And lamps are lit on that. Mm -hmm. So that's due to the high frequency nature. Uh, that can be shielded and dealt with. Well, anyway. That's that's it. Let's... Okay, thank you. My name is Paul Brown.